Hi everyone. In the last video, I have started this waveguide discontinuities and we have seen uh, what do you mean by waveguide discontinuities and what is the purpose of using waveguide discontinuities and what are the different types of waveguide discontinuities that we can use. So, what are the different types of waveguide irises, posts and tuning screws, match termination. So, waveguide irises we have seen already. Waveguide irises is nothing but a window-like structure formed by a diaphragm. So that can be created on either walls or top and bottom or anywhere inside the waveguide that is used to absorb the entire power. Now coming to the posts and tuning screws. Posts and tuning screws is nothing but a, it is going to be we are going to insert an iron rod inside the waveguide from one end. So that the power can be absorbed by that iron rod okay suppose if we are using a pure conductor why the waveguides are made up of pure conductors pure conductor is able to reflect the electric field that is falling on it suppose if we are using any other material like uh, in pure conductor then definitely power can be absorbed by that device okay so post is Post is a rod type material which is inserted into a waveguide. to absorb the EM power, electromagnetic power. The depth of insertion, the depth of insertion decides, decides the type of the load the depth of insertion decides the type of the load see see this figure what happens an iron rod is going to be inserted into this waveguide okay so how uh, how much depth the iron rod is going to be inserted that can be that will decide the amount of the load that means whether it is a pure inductive load or pure capacitive load or pure resistive load that can be decided by the type of the insertion whether we are inserting a lambda by 4 or lambda by 2 or how much insertion is going to be done see here here the post is inserted at a distance of lambda, less than lambda by 4 at a distance of lambda by 4 uh, taking the entire distance as lambda by 2 and half distance as lambda by 4 then it is less than lambda by 4 if the insertion is less than lambda by 4 this is nothing but post an iron rod if the insertion is less than lambda by 4 then it is acting like a capacitor if the insertion is equal to lambda by 4 nothing but exactly half of the waveguide then it is acting like a, the load is acting like a resistive load. It is just greater than lambda by 4, that is inductive. Inductive with a small value. And if the entire post is entirely inserted into this complete waveguide, then it is creating a huge inductive component. So like this, the depth of insertion of the post that decides the type of the load that it exhibits. Okay, this is the post and tuning screws. So, tuning screws is also nothing but a screw is there that is going to be inserted depending upon the insertion. Some load is going to be created. So, the relation between the depth of insertion and load is, see here that this is the depth of insertion on the x-axis. This is the lambda g by 4 where it is exactly at the center of the waveguide. And susceptance, what is the type of uh, lumped parameter that is going to be formed? See, if the distance is less than 
the insertion is less than lambda g by 4 it is like a capacitive component if the insertion is greater than lambda g by 4 that is like a inductive component is exactly lambda g by 4 it is like a resistive component whatever we have seen there with the, with respect to the graph we are drawing here coming to the match termination again there are match termination is nothing but it is a termination that is exactly matched with the the impedance of the uh, termination device terminating device exactly matched with the transmission line impedance the impedance of the the impedance of the terminating device is exactly matched with the impedance of the transmission line, characteristic impedance of the transmission line. Then only we can call it as a match termination. Okay, impedances are matched. So there are three types of match termination devices. There are three types of match terminations first one wedge type resistor match termination second plate type match termination and third one is plunger type match termination plunger type match termination see if you if you go into microwave lab Suppose if you are having a microwave established lab in your college, if you go there, all these components what I am discussing in this subject, you can be able to see over there. Okay, in these match terminations, posts and tuning screws, all these types of waveguides are that we are regularly using in the microwave labs. Okay, so coming to the first one, which is a wedge type resistor, second is a plate type resistor, plate type match termination, that is just a plate is there, that is used to close that. And third one is a plunger type. Okay. Coming to the first one, wedge type. See, in the wedge type uh, attenuator, or we can also call it as a match termination because it is used to attenuate the entire power. So, in the wedge type, it is like a carbon material. See, this is the material that is there inside the waveguide. When a power is going to be inserted that goes and nullifies as it going into the waveguide okay so this material is called as wedge that is used to absorb the power so the a wedge res a wedge type a wedge of resistive material a wedge of resistive material in the form of A tapper that acts as termination. That acts as termination. These are like match terminators, match terminations. And no reflections occur. Ultimately, we should not have any <coughs> reflection. That is the main aim. See, this is the wedge type material that is actually there inside the waveguide. The blue color line. The blue color line is a wedge type material that is inserted. Okay, when power is going inside, it's just, that is simply going to be absorbed by this one. See the, when we taken when we have taken that particular wedge type material outside, this is the shape it is having. This is the wedge type resistive cord. Now coming to plate type, the plate type as the name clearly tells that it is like a plate. See this particular plate is used for rectangular waveguides. Rectangular waveguides. And this is for circular waveguides. So in the rectangular waveguide, see this is the example of the rectangular waveguide. It is having a shape in the form of square. 
okay the shape of the waveguide the shape of the waveguide which is uh, able to transfer the signal that is the rectangular shape that's why it is rectangular waveguide but the rectangular waveguide is having the outer part where it is used to connect with the other guide that is in the form of a square so this plate can be connected over here <coughs> to close the power okay so a permanent metal plate welded a permanent metal plate welded at the end of waveguide may be employed for may be employed for complete reflection complete termination of the wave termination of the wave okay so a permanent metal plate is that is going to be connected at the end of the waveguide that is used to complete close that particular part nothing but the entire signal that is going in, on to that particular plate is going to be absorbed and closed there terminated there this is plate type now third type of this match termination that is plunger type in the plunger type if you see this waveguide at the end we are having a rotation mechanism see this one is having a rotational mechanism that is called plunger okay um, it is having a post like uh, material post like uh, iron rod that is from here to here it is the iron rod okay whenever you are tightening this one the rod is coming in this direction whenever you are losing this one the rod is going away from this one it is going like this okay that means the insertion of the iron rod and going away from the iron iron rod inside the insertion and going away of the iron rod that is completely depending upon the rotation of the plunger at the end okay so this particular device is also used to terminate the wave but how much amount of that means uh, what is the amount of load that is going to be existed that is also being uh, depending upon the plunger okay that means the uh, amount of insertion of the iron rod inside the waveguide like in the case of post and chunin screws a metallic plate uh, sorry uh, a metallic plate with rotation or screw is connected at one end of the waveguide that has an iron rod inserted the amount of insertion forms a load that is used to create a lumped parameter to absorb the power to absorb the em power okay so this method is also like plunger type match termination is also working like your plung uh, what is that post and tuning screws but post and tuning screws are inserted in this way but it is having in the at one end of the waveguide so these are the different types of waveguide discontinuities uh, in the case of match termination there are especially three different types of match termination wedge type plate type and plunger type